Yo, what's up, brothers and sisters? Um, I want to do a little study on the living stone and the holy nation. First Peter chapter two, verses one through twelve. Um, I'm actually reading the um, easy to read version for you guys. I prefer the KJV, but sometimes when you're just starting out, it's good to you know kind of get get the gist of what's going on and what's being said in the word, word, and then you can get to know the King James version. That to me is the best version to read, but it is a little bit harder to read and to understand. So today I'm going to read out of the easy to read version of the Bible. Um, we're in First Peter chapter two, one through twelve. So then, stop doing anything to hurt others. Don't lie anymore, and stop trying to fool people. Don't be jealous or say bad things about others. Like newborn babies hunger for milk, you should want the pure teachings that feed your spirit. With it, you can grow up and be saved. You already tasted the goodness of the Lord. The Lord Jesus is a living stone. The people of the world decided that they did not want this stone, but he is the one God chose as one of great value. So come to him. You are like living stones, and God is using you to build a spiritual house. You are to serve God in this house as holy priests, offer him spiritual sacrifices that he will accept because of Jesus Christ. The scriptures say, look, I have chosen a cornerstone of great value, and I put that stone in Zion. Anyone in trust in him will never be disappointed. So I bring that stone. So that stone brings honor for you who believe. But for those who don't believe, he said, is the, the stone that the builders refuse to accept, which become, become the most important stone. For them, he is also a stone that makes people stumble, a rock that makes people fall. People stumble because they do not obey what God says. This is what God planned to happen to those people. But you are his chosen people, the king's priests. You are a holy nation, people who belong to God. He chose you to tell about the wonderful things he has done. He brought you out of the darkness of sin into his wonderful light. In the past, you were not a special people, but now you are God's people. Once... You have not received mercy, but now God has given his mercy. Live for God. Dear friends, you are like visitors and strangers in this world, so I beg you to keep your lives free from the evil things you want to do, those desires that fight against your true selves. People who do not believe are living all around you. They may say that you are doing wrong, so live such good lives that they can come to see the good you do, and they will give glory to God on the day he comes.